Hi, I'm Richard Slade from the Siri Group, and in this short video, we're going to take you through the process of testing a 110 volt transformer. So, here we have our 110 volt transformer. After carrying out a full vision inspection of the equipment, I'm then going to move on to the electrical safety tests. So, to do this, first off, I'm going to plug my transformer in to my PAT tester. And obviously with it being a class 1 transformer, I'm then going to make a connection to earth using my test probe. So at this point, I'm going to go to the transformer socket outlet and actually put the test probe in the earth point of the socket. I then turn my tester on and obviously carry out my class 1 test. So the first test it's going to carry out then is obviously the earth continuity test. And at that point, it will then indicate whether the test has passed or failed. And we have a pass. Um, you'll notice on here as well that it's also now come up with low load uh, due to nothing obviously being plugged into the transformer, it's not detecting a load. So at this point, again, I'll just hit my class 1 test key and it will then carry on into the insulation resistance test, again, indicating a pass or fail, and then carrying out the alternative leakage test. Again, I get an overall pass or fail status at the end of the test. And at this point, I will then apply the label to indicate that the equipment has passed its PAT test and record the results in a PAT logbook. It is also good practice to, when testing 110 volt transformers, to test at each socket, so you know each socket outlet is safe. And also, subsequently after that, plugging an appliance in to ensure that the sockets are functioning correctly and powering up the equipment. Thank you for taking the time to watch our short video. For more information, please visit our website. And for the latest industry news and events, please follow us via our social media. Look forward to seeing you soon.